What if I told you there's an AI that can browse the web for you? Click, scroll, type, just like a human. Wait, isn't that what OpenAI Operator does for $200 per month? But what if there's a free tool that does the same thing? I found this tool, it's called the Browser Use, an AI that can go to the web and perform the task for you, similar to Operator, but it is 2% better, plus it is free. This is what I'm going to show you in this video and how to set this up and how to start using it. So to get started, go to this page. The link is down below. So once you've clicked the link, you'll be redirected to this page. So you'll see the same thing as I'm seeing right now. So GitHub is a, uh, is a website for developers to store their uh, files, their uh, projects. So you don't have to know anything about GitHub as long as you're here and I'm gonna walk you through on how to use this. So basically, we just need to look this uh, readme file. It's like a documentation on how to use this tool over here. And they also uh, they also have a demo on how to use it so and how it works. So if you watch it, so let's actually watch it. So, so this is what it's going to look like. And they click the run agent. So this is when, so as you can see, it is doing the task for you. And you can also record the task and we're going to do that. So, so yeah, so yeah, so that's the demo. So now we're going to install this. So to install this, you're going to need an IDE. So if you're new to, uh, into coding ID is where you write your code. So I use cursor. You could uh, download this. Uh, this is the best uh, IDE that I've used so far. It has an AI in it. So if you're lost, you can just ask the AI to your to your editor and it will uh it will answer your question and i already have cursor in here so i'm just going to open my cursor or um open my cursor so there you go and open the folder and we're going to open the doc documents okay and then it says like you we need to clone the repository so cloning the repository is basically we're just cloning everything in here because this is the all the code that needs that needs to run the uh the tool so we're just going to copy this just copy this everything so we just click that and then then you're going to go to the terminal over here click the terminal and then paste that. And we should be seeing, there you go. So web UI. So we're in the web UI now. And to just see the web UI, you can just like code and dot. And it's gonna open another one. So wait. There you go. So now we're in here. Okay, so what's the next step? Next step is to set up the environment for Python. So go there. Again, go to the terminal, new terminal. Close that. And So we've activated that and then activate the virtual environment. So if you're using different uh, operating system, if you're in the windows and so I'm using Mac, so I'm going to use this source over here. And then do that again, source, there you go. And then the next one is we're going to run this. This is the step tree over here. So just installing right now and we're going to install this one next so we know python python is a coding language playwright is basically a kind of like an automation that controls your browser and we're going to install the playwright over there and then then step four is we're going to do this over here and copy So basically, what what is that command do is just before we don't have this dot env, it's just go into 
create this file and copy the content of the .env.example to this file. So yeah. And now to be able to use it, what we're going to do is first is we're going to grab the open, a open API key. So go to platform, platform, open AI, platform three quarters, like Harry Potter. Miss that, miss that movie. So we're going to grab the API key. I'm just going to move my camera there and API reference. Grab that. Okay, there you go. API keys. Okay, so browser. Wait, we're just gonna delete this because I tried it yesterday. And browser use. So then, then, okay. So next step is now to go to, um, okay. Okay. So this is another option to install it. We don't have to. So we just have, we can just do this now. So now we can run this now and you're going to see, you're going to see it running and we're going to do something about it. Just waiting for it. Oh, this is really exciting. I'm actually excited. One eternity later. Okay, so it took quite a while. So once you see this running local URL, just uh, click this. So just copy this part, go to your browser and paste that. And it should be running. Okay, so um, first thing that we have to do is you can toggle this around, whatever you want. You can, you can set it the max number of steps. I'll just set it to 60. And then open AI. So if you want to use different I would probably use DeepSeek instead of OpenAI. DeepSeek is free. And then, so we uh, we've already set this up, so you need you don't need to uh, worry about that. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna decrease the temperature to zero point two. And then, um, browser settings, yes, 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 yes. And deep research compose a report report. So. If you're gonna do a deep research, this is what you're going to use. So you're gonna give a uh, a prompt, what kind of like a research that you want the AI to do. But here's what we're going to use. I'm just going through each of these tabs over here. So configuration. I haven't actually used this one, but yeah. So here is you're gonna get the result of the uh, record that you did, and you're also gonna get the uh, latest re record after you've run the agent. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna use the run agent. So we're going to delete the default uh, prompt. So you can write the prompt though, whatever you want, but what I'm going to write is uh, find me a uh, one to two bedrooms apartment on Halifax. So Halifax downtown. Okay. And I'm just gonna wait and okay. Show it up, here we go. And Okay, so one to two bedroom apartments, Halifax downtown. What is it gonna do next? I think that was like a very vague uh, instruction. I should have kind of like uh, maybe, maybe also kind of like give more instruction instead of just like find me a one to two bedroom apartments on Halifax. Maybe I also should have asked like, Here's the price, uh, and then give me a list of 10, top 10 uh, bedrooms, top 10 apartments, and then export them in CSV. And we'll probably uh, write a rules like, if you, don't, if you don't find any apartments 
on that website, go back to the, uh, to the, to the Google and search that again, and then go to the next, uh, go to the next, uh, link. Yeah. I would suggest when you do this, be, be, uh, be to the point and have more instruction. So it would have a better, uh, yeah, see, see right now, like, uh, it's, it doesn't know what to do now because we didn't give, give enough instruction. But yes, yeah, so but that was actually awesome. So we just uh we just told them find me an apartment, one two bedroom one Halifax. But I should have uh, gave it more instruction. But uh yeah, so that's how you're that's how you install it in your computer. Then that's how you're able to use it. And the one thing that I would change in here is that uh if you don't want to pay for an LLM, so I have like my LLM provider. So I have a, I have a credits on uh, OpenAI. You could use uh, DeepSeek or Gemini, but I'm not sure if Gemini is going to give you a, a good result. It's not fairly good for this use case, but I would say DeepSeek could be compared with OpenAI. So I would do that. And the next thing that I would suggest is that when you write your prompt, I would I would be more specific. So find me a one to two bedrooms on Halifax and uh, grab me 10, a list of 10, a list of 10 apartments. Find me a bedroom apartment on Halifax with a budget of uh, $1,500 to $2,000 uh, dollars, uh, Canadian. And you can write like amenities around here. Like you should have like gym, like you should have like a pool like that or something uh, on downtown, by the way, uh, on downtown. Uh, Halifax downtown with a budget of 1500 and grab me a list of 10 apartments and export them and export them on CSV. Export them on CSV. If, if you weren't able to find able to find an apartment on the site you were into. Go back to where you search it to Google and go to the next link. So this is how you want to this is how you want to write your pump. You have to be more specific. So you want to think the edge case like if some if if something happens if this happens and it didn't work out, what's the edge case? What is the else case? So yes, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. So if you want me to make more like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yes, so cheers. <laughs>